Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Huh. Nope, definitely not. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Hmm, but you don't talk too much, do you? Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. It's not every day a fella from Bibb County goes off and kills a state senator, that's for sure. Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. driving this man once, he, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's gotta stop, but that's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Well, Blabbermouth, let me tell you something. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... <laughs> I need to drag myself out that window. I need to drag myself out that window.
Officer? God damn. 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 The officer's shotgun is over there. Why would he have needed that? Why would he have needed that? Officer? God damn. Why would he have needed that? Why would he have needed that? Why would he have needed that? Officer? Why would he have needed that? God damn. Why would he have needed that? Why would he have needed that? Officer? Why would he have needed that? 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 God damn. Officer? God damn. Why would he have needed that? <laughs> Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Why would he have needed that? Officer? God damn. Officer? God damn. Officer? Why would he have needed that? Why would he have needed that? God damn. Officer? Officer. Uh, 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 holy shit! What in the hell? What the fuck what are happened? you? What happened? 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 Get away from me! Shit! What the hell are you? Don't make me do this! Someone! There, there's been a shooting! Ah! 
Hello? Anybody? No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg way it is. Anybody up there? I'm filling one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Help! I wonder if anybody's home. 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 Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Screw it. I'm just gonna go in. Hello? There's something going on. Screw it. I'm just gonna go in. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. a savannah area code but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter what's that beeping crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. 
Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three. Left at 651 AM. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Hello? You need to be quiet. Hello? Did they get you? I I'm sorry. I'm here. Please don't go. Are you dead too? Hello? Hello? I'm not a monster. Good. Hello? Did they get you? I I'm sorry. I'm here. Please don't go. Are you dead too? Hello? Hello? How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Hello? Hello? Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are?
Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. We can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me and we'll move as fast as we can. I found the bastard! Are we going to die? I want my dad! Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that! <laughs> we fucking got him! Dude, those things aren't afraid of bullets. These are survivors. Shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Oh, damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. No, not for a while. Looks like you cut the shit out of yourself. My leg, yeah. It's hurt pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up, too. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were. Oh shit! It's Chet! Let's go! Get to my car! Go!
Say hi to your dad for me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Take care, you two. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet, he got killed. No. You're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. I told him we could help him out. We'd really appreciate it. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? I don't even remember. It's crazy back there in the city. Hmm. It must be. What type of danger has the girl seen? Who knows? She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. With what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. It smells like... Shit. Uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though.
The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Thanks, but no thanks. Damn, friend. You must be some kind of something if you think you two can survive out there on your own. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Did your daddy give you that hat? Mm-hmm. Seems like those two are getting along. Kathy is good with her. He seems like an all right dude. He's working on his truck. He seems like an all right dude. He's working on his truck. He seems like an all right dude. He's working on his truck. Do you have any pets? I have a goldfish named Peanut. Mom doesn't like dogs. Oh, well, we have a lab named Franklin back in Fort Lauderdale. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. How are these things to drive? Awesome! Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... Sean's still working on that fence. 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 Hey, Lee. I'm gonna go, uh, check on the others. Whatever you want, man. Sean's still working on that fence. 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 Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bys to length, that'd sure speed things up. I 
dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... That bastard. Poor girl's brains here. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just...